In primetime news this evening, Carnival Road March leaves trail of garbage while some stakeholders are incensed. A desperation sets in as several residents in West Milan grapple with water shortage. And the Met Service describes as worrying rainfall patterns for sections of Western Jamaica. Good evening and welcome to primetime news. A special welcome if you're watching on TVJ International, that's in the Cayman Islands, or online at onespotmedia.com. I'm Herman Green. And I'm Janella Precious with a preview of what's the coming business news. Here's Javon Keys. Of course, tourism is Jamaica's major foreign exchange earner. So as the country looks to the future of tourism, it's crafting a new strategy. I'll have the details later on. Okay, and Jordan Fort is also here with a preview of what's to come in sports. Jordan? Uh, well, Herman, big news as it relates to Jamaica's senior national cricket team. And the major news regards its most senior player. I'll tell you the details in primetime sports a little later on. Sun, sun, and more sun. That's what's been happening with the weather. Romain, any chances of rain this week? Very little chance of rain this week, Janela. We're expecting sunny conditions to continue in the afternoons up until Friday. <laughs> There's also sports commentary and E-Prime in the newscast, but before the break, here is our feedback question. And this evening we're asking what sanctions should be applied to organizers of Jamaica Carnival for not removing garbage from the streets after Sunday's event. Now you can share your comments online at facebook.com slash television Jamaica or on X at TVJ News Center. Please stay with us. Primetime News returns after this break. <laughs> 